Happy Sunday. I'm so glad you're here. Today's lesson reminds us that it's important to not just know what's in the Bible, but to understand the bigger story that the Bible is telling, the big picture. Speaking of which, do you remember the big picture question for this unit? Where is Jesus now? Jesus ascended to heaven where he is seated at the right hand of the Father. We won't see Jesus on earth because he went back to heaven and his position seated at the right hand of the Father tells us that he is honored and glorified and that his work is complete. When Jesus died on the cross and rose again, he completely paid for sin and defeated death. Now over the last few months, we have been studying Jesus's life here on earth, which seemingly ended in his tragic death on a cross. But last week, we learned about the greatest day in history, when God raised Jesus from the dead to defeat sin and death. But Jesus wasn't quite finished with his time here on earth. He still had a few very important tasks he needed to complete before he could leave, including a little more teaching for his disciples. And he found two of his disciples on the road to a town called Emmaus, where he had a very interesting conversation with them. Let's go to the Bible and find out what happened. That Jesus rose from the dead, two of Jesus' followers were walking along the road from Jerusalem to a town called Emmaus. They were deep in conversation and talking about everything that had happened over the last few days. When Jesus came up and began walking alongside them, they were unaware that it was Jesus walking with them, though, because God kept them from recognizing him. Well, what are you so deep in discussion about? Why are you so sad and so gloomy? in all Jerusalem who doesn't know what's happened recently. What well, what has happened? But everything concerning Jesus of Nazareth. He was a great prophet of God who did many great things. But three days ago the chief priests and the Pharisees condemned him to death and they nailed him to a cross. We all hoped he would be the one to save us. slow to realize the truth and so foolish. So don't you remember what Jesus said? You should listen to them. Have they not said that Christ must suffer these things in order to enter his full glory? Jesus went on to explain everything that had been written about himself in the scriptures. He started from the beginning and explained the writings of Moses and the prophets, showing how they wrote about him and revealed the truth about himself. As they approached the village, Jesus went to continue on as though he was going farther, but they urged him to stay with them for dinner, so Jesus entered the village with them. When they were seated at the table for dinner, Jesus took the bread and blessed it and broke it, then gave it to them. At once their eyes were opened and they recognized him as Jesus, but as soon as they did, Jesus disappeared. Why didn't we recognize it was him? Didn't our hearts burn with excitement as he told us about the scriptures? Once they jumped up and hurried back to Jerusalem to tell the other disciples, when they found the eleven, they overheard them saying, The Lord really has risen from the dead. He showed up to Simon Peter. Then they told the disciples what happened on the road to Emmaus and how Jesus had revealed himself when he broke the bread with him, them. The whole Bible is about Jesus. From when Adam and Eve sinned, God started working out his plan to save us from sins. The entire Old Testament points toward Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. The time when Jesus would 
come and fulfill God's promise to save us from sin. God reveals himself to us in his word. Without the Bible, we would not know God personally or come to faith in Jesus. But we don't wanna just know the stories that make up the Bible. We want to understand them in the context of what God has been doing in the world all along. Jesus himself said that all of scripture, which makes up the Old Testament of the Bible, points to him. So when we study the Bible, we want to look at the different parts and see how they're pointing to Jesus. To understand the Bible, we need to understand that everything God does is part of his big plan to rescue sinners through his son, Jesus. Now in this week's lesson, we saw how Jesus taught these two disciples that all scripture points to him. You see, the disciples had all of the information. They knew the scripture really well but they didn't fully understand until Jesus gave them that key that cleared their confusion. Jesus reminded them of God's big plan and that God had been working all along to defeat sin and death. Now, I love in this story how Jesus kept himself disguised the whole time he was talking to the disciples. The Bible doesn't tell us exactly why Jesus did that, but I have a possible reason, I think. Jesus wanted the disciples to focus on his words and his teaching rather than being distracted by the fact that they were seeing him alive. And we saw how he revealed himself at just the right moment, just when he knew they had got it. And then he disappeared. And the disciples were so excited to see him. They ran all the way back to where they had just walked from to tell the other disciples. Jesus is the key that unlocks everything God is revealing about himself in the Bible. The entire Old Testament points forward to Jesus's life, death, and resurrection. And when we put our faith in Jesus, God forgives our sins and gives us life forever. Which means even after our physical lives end here on earth, we will live forever with Jesus. Jesus himself made this promise and it's recorded in John 11, 25, which is our memory verse for this unit. So why don't we head over to Pastor Pete and practice it? Hey guys. Hey, did you guys practice your Bible verse? I bet you did. Well, let's do it together. See how you're doing. John 11, 25. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will have life even if he dies. You see, Jesus said that he is the resurrection and the life. And then he went and proved it by raising from the dead. That's so cool. His death and his resurrection defeated sin and death for all time. And when we have faith that Jesus died for our sins and rose from the dead, we too can be certain that we will live with God forever. You can you can stand a little closer together too, like like you know each other, and you want to hear each other talking. Okay, any anytime, whenever you're ready. God started working out His plan to save Jesus from sinners. Not to save Jesus from sinners. Is <laughs> it good? <laughs> I'm sorry. That was good. Without the Bible, we wouldn't personally know. The whole Bible is about Jesus' life. You're laughing now. You're laughing now. To 
save us from him. To defeat sin and death. Come to Earth to save us from When we put our We're Don't have a dad! <laughs>